This is distance from center the day after the conclusion of the 2019 U.S. Masters. I'm Horton. That's Trent. Trent, what got you fired up? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Freddy Krueger. Thank you, Ryan Dodd. My goodness. That, um, I mean, I'm sure you all watched that. Uh, that was, you couldn't have scripted it better. You couldn't have asked for more, especially if you're a fan of, of both, both these guys, which I absolutely am. Um, just from start to finish, men's jump was just incredible. You know, the Taylor Garcia making his way into the finals again. Um, and then Igor Morozov getting into the finals too, which is just really cool when, you know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of, you know, Jack Critchley and, and the Miranda's brothers and Igor. All these guys are all really close. So to, to see Igor in the finals is really cool. Um, then, I mean, Freddie and Ryan literally tied <clears throat> in the prelims. Down to the you know, right, which is amazing. I mean, that you sh that that shouldn't almost be able to happen, right? It just shows. Yeah. I mean, this is why I think for the sport right now, that's the best matchup in the oh sport because those two guys. You, who would who would bet against either of these two on any I day? I know, really, really, really cool. And then so just you know, the finals. <sighs> Ryan obviously you know went out before Freddie, um, given that he was the lower seed into the you know the prelims and and just caught hold of one on, on, on his opening jump. Um, John, you probably have the, the exact distance. I do, I do. Um, Ryan, 70.3 meters. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me the feet. And then, and then, and then ah. so I mean, it was set. So then, and, and just, thank you. Freddy Krueger, last off the dock. Very opening jump, dude. He catches hold of one that... From that from that camera angle, it to me it looked like it was maybe three four feet further. So it it was like right. he knew he gave a little half a fist bump, and I'm like I, in my mind I'm like why isn't he freaking out? He just I'm I'm confident he won, and, and it actually came up uh, I think like four feet short, um, uh, three, three feet three. short. But and you, and, you, and you know it's interesting for the for the geeks out there in the audience. I think that really just shows the difference in their styles mm -hmm. and. Um, a lot of people said Freddie's jump looked further visually, but I mean, I absolutely trust the splash oh, eye yeah, data. Yeah, it was three feet shorter. They just, you know, Ryan is power, 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 and Freddie is much more efficiency elegant, and they both get it done in their own way. And it's like it's fantastic to watch. So exciting, man. My only regret is now I'm like I'm like we're not going to get to see something like this again for the Malibu Open, but. Um, absolutely yeah. incredible. So what a what a way to finish the the tournament. What a way to cap it off. So, man, as a fan, I, I just was. Uh, it was the best thing I've, I've seen in a long time. It was really cool. What uh, right, where, where, where do we go from there? Well, I think we should go back to the beginning. So that gets us to uh, women's tricks, and uh, you know, Neely Ross, Anna Gay, they both put in really good performances. It's great. They're amazing. Again, elegance and technicians. Uh, and then comes Erica Lang. And her handle pass is just astounding. You see her her wakeboard background in it, and it's like, you know, again, Anna and, and um, Neely are amazing. And then just a performance value, not point value, performance value. Erica is, like, so much bigger, and she's so much smoother than she used to be. So, long story short, uh, Erica wins... Uh, women's tricks with a score of uh, uh, 10,030 points uh, and then Anna 9,140 uh, nearly behind by just just 20 points behind Anna so that was a really good women's it, trick it is, it is really incredible and I, you have to remind me her name but the, the, the girl that went out first in the finals she did two front flips and two uh, two back to back moves and just like forgot. Yeah, it's, it was a uh, yeah it was exciting to watch that's the that's the German girl whose name I will not mispronounce yeah, either. Dirty, exactly, exactly. Uh, so that runs us into uh, men's tricks. Uh, pretty astounding across the board. Uh, Coleman, Tebow, uh, Adam Picos, all really interesting. I'll say that watching Adam, I kind of was having flashbacks to his dad watching that really big impressive super fast toe yeah, pass it's crazy how similar and, they look and it's like you know and those really big toe passes i think are kind of missing from the sport 
these days. And then comes out, uh, then comes um, Pat O'Font, and I watch his toe pass. He came off the dock and did toes first. And for pro men's tricks, I thought it was kind of pedestrian. I was like, yeah, well, he'll get third. I don't know. And then so he scores. I, I got the, the individual runs. He scored uh, 46 70 in his toes, which is pedestrian. still world class. Pedestrian. But <laughs> yeah, it's pedestrian. Yeah. And then he comes pedestrian? back in with his second pedestrian. Like, yeah, you know, whatever. It's like running It's like running 141 as a pro slump, pro slump skier. Pretty good. Uh, and, and then Paddle comes back with his, with his handle pass and does stuff that I don't even understand and tricks um, 6,660 points and beats Adam Picos by 10, I think. Yeah. So so snatches the victory from Adam by 10 really points. Awesome. That's really, really uh, cool. And, and amazing, he's 16 years old. I'm sure sometime way super back in the day, a 16-year-old won a, ma a master's title before, but I don't know when. I mean, maybe like Patrice Martin, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So huge. Men's tricks, super fun. Pat Font, I'm going to say, is a future huge star in the event. Yep, yep, yep. On to women's slalom. On to women's slalom. Um, you know, I, I don't know. They all look good, and they ended up on the podium the way we kind of expect. What do you think? Yep, no, I agree. I mean, it, it was uh, – I, I don't know if I can say the conditions looked worse than usual, but maybe a little more unpredictable, but – I mean, it, it, it was awesome. I mean, Regina was first out in the finals. Um, that that was maybe the only kind of surprising thing. And, and she just put up, <clears throat> I think, four at 39. Three, three and a half at 39. You're exactly right. Because actually I was, I was thinking, ooh, this, this could be Whitney's, you know, with a full four. But um, she looked great. Whitney looked absolutely incredible. And, and Manon tipped as the usual with, with the smoothest, you know. Um, I, guess that, that, the, I guess the only uh, maybe – Cool point to the, to the, you know, that the way that story unfolded was Jamie Vault. I mean, she ran two of 39 in the prelims. Um, and just, dude, she's the real deal. She looked incredible both rounds. So. Right. And, you know, I, I the thing about Jamie Vault that super impresses me is you kind of watch her ski and there's no extra weird movements. She's just strong and talented in the middle of her ski. I expect to see her moving up the podium soon. She's yeah. she's super young. Is she like 19, really good. maybe? She's really good. She's really smart. She's really yeah. driven. Yeah. Um, right. Stephen Nevue. Hey, so. Okay, wait. Oh, Hold on. Oh, we're not going to be able to slow this Hold down. Hold on. We have two minutes. Okay. Left. Oh, well, okay, go. Stephen Nevue. Stephen Nevue. So he's been around, you know, obviously he's been running D41 for a long time. He won the California Pro a couple of years ago. It, I've never seen a contest 39 that good by anyone or better by anyone um, ever. I mean, that, that. Agreed. He made zero mistakes until he decided to lay up a two ball. You know, it, it was a borderline conscious, subconscious decision, I'm sure. Um, but, I mean, it you, you couldn't have a better gate. You couldn't have a better one. You couldn't have a better line into two. Um, I, I'm sure he was hoping it was going to be enough after the previous day. No one even ran 39. Um, left him in second. So I rewatched that three or four times this morning. I don't know if he could have turned two. Oh on goodness, three. yes, absolutely. I know we just guaranteed. I know. Guaranteed. I, I watched it. I was like, oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, it was then, perfect. So, and, and that's not even that's okay. that's nothing but huge congratulations to him. I mean, he got. I mean, he set himself up to to win that event. Um, in the end, it didn't end up being enough. But but no one looked like Nevu all weekend. It was incredible. It's the best I've ever seen him. Yeah. So, so the Fred comes out last off the dock. Oh, well, you know, we've got to talk about Asher. Looked amazing through 38. Amazing. Stuck his ski in her out one ball at 39. I don't know what happened. It's kind of heartbreaking. Uh, but so he ended up fourth. That brings us to the Fred. Um, you know, I, I, I asked this question. Knowing that all he has to do is get two and a half at 41, does that almost make him ski a little bit hesitant? Because it's like it's so easy for him to go get it. Or... I mean, would it almost have been better for him to go crazy for it? Um, I, you know, I, I don't think so. I, I don't I don't think in his mind it was ever, this is going to be easy. I, I think he wasn't moving as crisply as, as I, you know, as you usually right. see him, given how how good Will and Nibby looked on the day. But but he looked confident, man. Like, it, when he had those, you know, slow turns, I 
think on two and four at 39, it, I mean, there, there was never, never, it never looked like his, uh, you know, his confidence was wavering. He looked, it, it was, it was, it looked like it was going to happen for him. You know, he, he was handling his mistakes really well. Um, and I mean, and that type of on water celebration, like some oh, people yeah. try and hold that stuff back. And, and, but I mean, that's, that was straight goosebumps for me, man. I, I just, it, it was, you know what? It was the same in the prelims will celebration, you know, when, when he got to five at 39 after navigating some really hairy situations. And that's like, that's why. I mean, that's why I do this sport. That's why I watch this sport. I, man, when people like, you know, that true, true, uh, unadulterated, unfiltered emotion, it's just like, oh man, I can watch that all day. So that, that Psalm event okay. was incredible. Okay, but you got you got to roll back for the people who didn't watch. So F- Freddie ran through thirty nine pretty. E- I say pretty easily, pretty easily for Callaway Gardens, mm-hmm. and then uh, got around two, got around three, and stood up, scored two and a half. Freddie Winters, our uh, 2019 Masters Men's Slalom Champion. Uh, fantastic. We're out of time. Congratulations to everybody who skied. Uh, we will be back with another episode of Distance from Center soon.